everyone welcome back to my channel on this channel we are following my journey as a vending machine owner and let's get right into it this is going to be a quick video by the way so I started the day out with switching these coins around um, I don't know why I thought this was going to um, fix the issue that's going on with the machine not accepting coins but it didn't do anything and if y'all look in the very back of the video at the light flashing, I would have to check that out. That's the real issue. But I have to catch y'all up with that. So, I ended up putting this back in the machine. It was kind of hard to do it with one hand, but, you know, I got it in there. And then in the next clip, I decided to go ahead and grab the cash out of the machine since I was already right here. And go ahead and just count what was in the machine um, during this period of time. I do believe the total was like 140 something dollars. Um, that's not counting the credit and debit sales from the machine. So you can just enjoy this clip of me counting the money from the machine. Okay, so this is what the machine looked like before I stopped the machine. It was very empty and I just needed to come and restock it. So I brought in this cart with some items on it and began restocking the machine. I just included one small clip of me stocking this one row. Um, I don't think y'all want to watch me stock the whole vending machine. If you guys do want to watch me stock the whole vending machine, just let me know and I can record that for you guys. Okay, so in this bag that I'm showing you now is all the expired snacks. And normally what I do with those snacks is I will go and drive around and find someone maybe um, that's on standing on side of the road or someone that's maybe homeless or someone with a sign that's looking for food. I will give them those snacks, but I will always tell them that the snacks are expired, but they always end up taking them anyway. Um, and then right here, I'm just showing you that this is where I am restocking my um, storage area with snacks so that it's just a little easier on me when I come back to restock the machine. I can just pull some snacks from here and it just makes the process a little easier.
And then this is just a little close-up area of me showing you um, the storage for the snacks. Right here, I'm just showing you the vending machine after I've stocked it all. I doubled and tripled some items because they're best sellers. In this clip, I decided to show you what the display area looks like. So these drinks that you see right here, they never get touched. Um, these are just to show you what is actually in the fridge when you select that number. That's what you get. So. I decided to switch the water in the coke because um, I didn't have that many cokes left so I put those in a smaller area and then the waters I put those in a bigger area because I had more waters than cokes and then I also took the apple juice out because it was expired and I think only one apple juice sold so I wasn't able to take it back to Sam's anyway um, and I replaced that with a bang <music> After that, um, I did take out the monster. I probably should have left it in there because there's nothing in that slot, but that's okay. There were only like three left and they've been in there for a while. Nobody was buying them, so maybe I'll just wait till a later date to put it back in there. Okay, so this is what the display looks like from inside of the machine um, and then you put this little cover on there and there's like a little screw that you put in the middle of it and then you twist this little thing on it I definitely sound like I don't know what I'm talking about but <laughs> you twist this thing on there and it holds the cover in place and yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys for watching um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.